This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, December 1st, 2009. I'm your host, Peter Bush. Big show today. We will announce the performance of the week in about 10 minutes. But first, we're going to talk to arguably the best female swimmer in the world right now. Jessica Hardy just won the overall points total in the World Cup Series, and she is back in the U.S. She joins us now on Skype from Los Angeles. Jessica, welcome back to the show. How are you doing? Great. How are you guys? I'm doing well. What a whirlwind tour for you, huh? Yeah, it's been the time of my life, but I, I have to say I'm really happy to be back in the U.S. <laughs> now, you did it perfectly. I mean, you just broke your own world record just by, you know, hundredths or tenths each stop, so you keep getting racking up that prize money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, I kind of did it on purpose. At, really? at least in the beginning, I tried to pace myself and just do it a little bit at a time because um, I knew I had a lot of meets ahead of me still. But then in... Um, Stockholm in prelims, I let it loose on accident, and after that, I had to try really hard every time. <laughs> so it was interesting. Wow! So you can intentionally do that because we were talking about that back here in the studio while you were breaking all these records. We're like, you think she's doing this on purpose, just you know, <laughs> holding just a little bit back every time, yeah. knowing that she breaks that world record? I didn't think you could do it because of fifty. You just gotta always give it your all. That's pretty impressive. I mean, you can't really tell for sure what's going to happen, you know, when you finish. But um, I was just trying to just base it off of effort level and and just give it a little bit more or, or each time and just kind of control myself. But um, it was something I had never done before, but it was interesting. Now, we've been flashing that famous photo of you holding that big $100,000 check. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, after you went through what you went through in 2008... Uh, can you explain, you know, the financial crunch that may have put you in, and how this money really helps? Um, yeah, it was it was um, draining on my savings to go through 2008. I had tons of attorney fees, and um, and you know, just going through. I have, I think, I had six case, legal cases going on in my life at once. A lot, a couple of them were personal, um, but. But it was huge, and um, you know, thankfully, I had been saving my whole life with any money I ever made. I put most of it into savings, so I was able to take care of myself with just only a little bit of help from my parents, and um, that you know, it meant a lot to me to be able to do that because I'm only 22, and and most people my age are just struggling looking for jobs but I was able to take care of myself in a in a crisis in my life and then now this year to have made some money um, feels good to to rebuild my savings back up um, I have to say I did just get a new car <laughs> so I'm not saving as much as I probably you know would have in the past but um, it just feels great to be back making you know making a, a positive out of my career instead of spending all my money. <laughs> what kind of car did you go with? I got a new Lexus convertible. Nice. It's really cool. I'm really excited. All right, times are good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Since your reemergence onto the world stage as you know, easily one of the world's best swimmers, have any sponsors approached you again and uh, they want to do business with Jessica Hardy? I'm um, actually in a, kind of an unfortunate situation because I'm still not eligible for the 2012 Olympics because of the IOC's Rule 45. Um, so sponsors, you know, have have you know started making contact and stuff in the past couple weeks, um, but I am in a rough place because I can't sign long-term contracts because like, I don't know for sure that I'm going to be able to go to the Olympics. I can hope for the best, and um, I can promise them that I'll be the fastest I can be that year, even if I don't get to go to the Olympics. But, um, you know, I'm just hoping for the best. I, I'm i happy with my career, and if I sign sponsors, it's great. And if I don't, I'm just, I'm in it to swim, and, I'm, and I love I love the sport. So now, that's wh what I'm looking at. Now, what is the latest with that whole deal of whether or not you'll be able to swim in 2012? When have they promised <laughs> you an answer? Um... That's a good question. I really have no clue. We're trying to settle, set, set a date to start talking about that with the IOC, but they don't want to, um, I don't think they want to deal with it out of the Olympic years because they want to wait until 2012 to talk about it. I don't, I don't really know. It's, it's a very long process. Everything in the legal world takes 
forever. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I kind of just let my attorneys handle most of the situations because it's not something that I can really control in my life. I, I've, I've hired them and, and that's what they're good at. It's what their job is. So I let them handle the stressful stuff and I, I worry about my swimming. Well, worrying about your swimming, uh, while you were gone, we had a poll question here on the Morning Swim Show. The question was, who is the best female breaststroker in the world right now? And your teammate, Rebecca Sony, barely edged you out. What do you think of that? I'm happy for it. She, we train together. Um, we live in the same apartment complex, and we, we hang out all the time. We're really good friends. Um, and I, I love... You know, we love pushing each other in practice, and I love racing her. And for her to be respected as the world's best breaststroker, I think, is awesome because, you know, that means I'm training with the world's best breaststroker. And, and she is an awesome person, so I want, you know, what's best for her. Well, did, awesome. She's, I'm happy for her. Did the voters get it right? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's not my call. I just worry about myself, um, try to be the best I can be, and... You know, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. Well, you train with Rebecca Sony. You got to race against Liesl Jones. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it was in the Berlin stop. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh, she was at all that, of them except for South Africa. That must have been, that must have been a thrill and a, a great race, too. She did edge you out in that hundred. But, uh, yeah. Well, that, I beat her all the other meets except yeah. for Berlin. That's the only one she beat me. Well, that's why you finished ahead of her in the poll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so what's next for you? You going to nationals this week? Uh -huh, I leave tomorrow for nationals, and then I have two weeks off, and then I'm going to duel in the pool in Manchester. Were you um, so USA Swimming invited you to go to the duel in the pool? Mm -hmm. Would you say everything is smooth with you and USA Swimming right now? Yeah, um, I don't think there was ever an issue. I I didn't do anything wrong, and and they believed and they were confident in me and. Um, you know, I just, I just kind of gave everyone space when I was during my suspension and when everything was up in the air because, you know, I didn't really want to draw attention and, and, you know, I just wanted what's best for USA Swimming and, and everyone in the community. And um, things are good now. I mean, I have a lot of people have been supportive and, and very helpful and nice, and I'm, I'm really grateful that they're one of those people who have been really, really supportive. Well, Jessica, thanks again for coming on the show. Congratulations, good luck, and all the rest. We'll, uh, we'll talk you. to you next year. Thanks very much. All right, that's Jessica Hardy joining us from L.A., and we will be right back with our performance of the week. Reporting on aquatic sports is more than a business. It is a responsibility, a responsibility that we at Swimming World Magazine take seriously. We've been on deck covering every Summer Olympics over the last half century, and look forward to the next 50 years of Olympic coverage. From everyone at Swimming World Magazine, thank you for your continued support. And welcome back. Time now for our performance of the week. Our selection this week, Lotta Freeze of Denmark. She broke the world record in the women's short course 1500 freestyle on Sunday at a small club meet in her home country. Free swim a 1528.65 four seconds faster than the time that Kate Ziegler swam in 2007. Fries was far off the pace through the first 1,200 meters, then crushed the final 300, coming home in 1002 in the last 100 meters. Congratulations to Lotta Fries. You're our performer of the week. And that's it for the show today. Tomorrow on the show, we'll talk to another World Cup star, backstroker Peter Marshall. Until then, I'm Peter Bush, reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.